Okay, I'm back. I have just installed the cartridge in the shower. Now I am about to do the tub. Remind you, this is my first time doing this. Here we go. This is where the cartridge go. Let me make sure it's clean first. Let me go get the light. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look too bad. All right. First thing I'm going to do is put some plumbers faucet and valve grease. The YouTube video that I watch, it didn't say anything about doing this, but I am. Put it around there. Okay. Now, let's see here. This is the new cartridge. And what I'm gonna do is put some grease on this too, just in case I have to pull this joker back out. So do this. Put some more on here. Grease it up. Okay, I think that's enough. All right, so there are some grooves on this thing here. I don't think y'all can see it, but there's one little thingy. I have to make sure that little groove is straight up and down this way. Now, I'm going off memory here since I had to do the shower, so let's see how this go. I don't know. I don't think that's right, only because it says HC here meaning hot and cold. So I don't know what that YouTube video was talking about, so I'm going to do it this way because I know if I turn the knob this way, which probably that way for y'all, then it's hot. And then the other way is cold. this little ring thing here that it goes on now I probably should have recorded taking this thing out but it would be in reverse order so you're good I'm gonna put some grease on this thing too never know I don't think it will hurt to grease up everything now Make sure this thing is straight. This pin is supposed to go straight in there. All right, let's see why. pause this and get right back to you okay I'm still trying to figure out how to get this pin in here I'll be back right with you bam I got it finally 
so. And then twist it to where the grooves are at the very top. Get it straight. Okay. Now I am ready to put all this other stuff back on. I don't remember what this thing of my jig is called, but it slides on first. And guess what I'm gonna do? Yes, grease it. Okay. Clean the inside of it a little bit. Okay. Grease it up. That was agreed on the inside too, might as well. All right. Well, you know what? I think I have to put the plate on first. Yeah. Yes, I have to put the plate on first. Hey, we're doing this together, so let's see. Line is up. Be right back. Okay, now I am just screwing the plate back on. Okay, before I put this, whatever that thing is called, I don't know. Somebody sending me a message. Let's see. All right, I'm not gonna tighten it up just yet because I gotta see if I put this in right. Bam! Now this one went in better than the shower, so I may have to check that one back out because yeah, this looks a lot better. I feel really good about this one. I don't know about that one over there. All right, so put this back in, tighten it up more. Bam! This this looks a lot better than what the shower had, so I may have to even replace this for the shower. But either way, it looked like a little bow plastic thing. I put that in, and I put this adapter back on, and I screw it on with this screw. I don't know which is called. I just know this is what I got got it from. Where I got it from. Screw that on there like that. Uh oh. Don't do too much. I mean I broke something. Then now I'm ready to put the handle back on. Put this thing here. Oh yeah, now this looks good. Allerage. Let me put this on and be right back. All right, so I have it on. I guess it's supposed to be a little loose right now. I will find out if this really worked when I turn the water valve from outside back on. I'm gonna go ahead and let you go because being that I've done this and see how nice this look, I need to go redo that shower over there. Be right back. Okay, I'm standing in the shower. I don't know if you're able to see, compared to the bath, this thing, whatever it's called, is sticking out 
a little bit further. So let me show you the, give you an up close view of the cartridge I just replaced. But you see how crooked this thing is? I don't know if you guys can tell. But anyway, so after doing the tub, I know I need to redo this because this is not sitting right. So I'm going to remove these two screws, take the plate off, and see if I can fix this. Be back. Okay, so I got the plate off. So what I want to know is why is this little piece not going in as far as the piece and the tub? So let's look into this. Now it's gonna be hard for y'all to see, so but let me just show you this. There shouldn't be no reason why I'm having an issue because there's a little piece back there that's preventing it, preventing it from going all the way in. So I'm going to work on this and I'll just let you know how it would go. Okay. See you later. Okay, I'm back. Well, it looks like that is the way it's just going to be. So I'm going to put the handle back on there and go turn the water back on from outside. And we're going to see what happens. I'll see you then. Okay, so I turned the water back on. The shower is on. I don't know if y'all got to see that. Where's the head? Shower's on and look where I have a handle. So that means I think I installed this thing upside down. Because when I go up like that, it turns off. So I have the thing on wrong. At least I know how to fix it. Stay tuned. All right, so I went and shut the water off again. And now I'm waiting for the lines to kind of clear, get some of this water out. Before I go back in, so I admit I was wrong just because the HC looked right to me. It was wrong. So that means the YouTube video was right. I could be doing something else right now, but I have to get it done. So bear with me. I will be back. Okay. So what happened? I didn't pull the cartridge out to flip it like I thought I would probably need to do. I just twisted the little piece on the inside. And I thought about that only because when I turned the knob upward, the water stopped. So that just meant that I needed to turn the little valve thing. I'm about to go turn the water back on. Okay, the water's back on. Now the first indication that I know I did it right this time, the shower isn't on before I turn the knob. So here goes. Let's see. It's getting hot, which it should. Let's see. It turned off, so that hopefully it doesn't drip. Okay, while that's doing that, let's go check out the tub. Let's see. 
All right. So the thing with the tub was it kept dripping like it was slow dripping but I want it to completely just stop so if it doesn't stop then it's more than just the cartridge that needs to be replaced or repaired so it's Still dripping, so we'll see. Let's go back to the shower. All right, I fixed the shower. All right, so I'm gonna let you guys go. And if the tub keeps dripping, if the tub keeps dripping, then there's more than what I thought it is. Um, anyway, so I'm good to go. I can leave my water on. Bye.